I'm of Italian descent. I've heard enough mafia stories for the rest of my life. If the names on Wall Street were Salenti, Caruso, Mondavi, Rossini, Puccini, Abatelli, Puccio, they call it the mafia. Oh, it would be major news every day how the how the mafia that is is ripping off the country. You know, we just gave these guys what? How many billions of dollars? And now they're giving it back to themselves in bonuses. Oh, it would be big story. But you can't call the white shoe boys criminals. You could call them, you know, these Ponzi schemes they talk about, but credit swap fault derivatives and collateral CBOs and SIVs. How about calling them, rather than exotic financial instruments, how about calling them con games and, 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 and Ponzi schemes? Well, you know, we're writing now, we're writing the Autumn Trends Journal, and this is the way we began it. And we're writing back in the, from the year 2012, and we're looking to 2009. The greatest crime wave ever to hit America was sweeping across the nation. More lawless than the Wild West, better organized than gangland Chicago, a ruthless mob of financial bandits and political wise guys had taken control of the United States of America. Not a week went by without Wall Street and Washington committing world-class crimes, but all carried out under the cover of law. If perpetrated by individuals, it would have been called robbery, extortion, embezzlement, and fraud, and the perpetrators would have been indicted, hauled into court, and brought to justice. But because politicians and financiers were committing the crimes, it was just called legislation. Well, here's the way we're looking at it. As you know, we keep repeating, and it's worth repeating because it doesn't seem to hit a lot of people in the, in the head the right way, is that you can't print phantom money out of thin air backed by nothing, producing practically nothing. We're now looking at the dollar taking another hit against a basket of currencies. Gold prices are back on the rise. We heard from China, Russia, India, Brazil. They all want to bail out of the bucks. So where is it going? the decline of Empire America.